North Korea launched an intercontinental missile and two ballistic missiles with a shorter range toward the East Sea early Wednesday morning, South Korea quickly condemning the move. North Korea's continued provocation can only result in stronger and faster South Korea-U.S. combined deterrence and can only deepen North Korea's international isolation. Just hours earlier, U.S. President Joe Biden left Asia following summits in Tokyo and Seoul. South Korea and the U.S. responded to the North's missile tests, launching two short-range surface-to-surface ballistic missiles. Yoon's office also said North Korea had conducted an experiment in preparation for a nuclear test. The government is maintaining constant readiness to strongly and effectively respond to any kind of North Korean provocation and will take practical steps to protect the security of North Korea and the safety of the people based on the solid South Korea-U.S. alliance. The developments have peace activists concerned. It is very worrisome that we are gradually increasing the intensity of military threats to each other, but the path to solving the problem is getting further away and there are too few actors to solve or mediate the problem. During his summit with South Korean President Yoon suk yeol U.S. President Joe Biden reaffirmed Washington's commitment to extended deterrence. In response to the North's provocations, Yoon wants to see American strategic assets, bombers and ships capable of delivering nuclear weapons, conduct military exercises in South Korea to send Pyongyang a clear message. South Korea's unification minister said its offer to provide North Korea with COVID-19 vaccines and medicine is still on the table, despite the missile tests. Frank Smith, TRT World, Seoul.